Normal high temperatures for this early November is usually right where we're at right now, and it's only noon. So we're going to be off and run into a really mild day today. Yesterday, we lagged behind with temperatures because it took so long for the fog to evaporate. The sun's energy was used for that before it could heat us up. Not so today. Fog thinning out nicely now. I can make out uh, most of the cameras around the valley. Still a little patchy fog in Warren. Looking at 711 I-680. It is beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine uh, today. If you want to clean up the yard, get those leaves picked up be a great day to do it or you could do it tomorrow or even Saturday in 74 degree weather yeah it's going to be beautiful low 50s in Cortland it's 57 at the airport 60 in Grove City uh, Grove City this morning fell as low as 34 degrees they didn't have as much fog they had more a uh, little bit of patchy frost so they were spared the fog from this morning look at the warm air mass that is going to be sliding towards the east into the Ohio Valley over the next couple of days yeah if you're getting the rake out today cleaning up the yard upper 50s by one o'clock and we'll be right around the low to mid 60s and temperatures actually heating up deeper into the afternoon and it's going to stay warmer tonight. Mostly sunny skies for late this afternoon if you're cleaning up the yard. All right, looking at Viper radar, completely quiet and it's going to stay that way. Sunny and mild for today. Temperatures again going to be right in the mid to upper 60s by 8 o'clock tonight. Still only 59. We're going to see temps drop in the upper 40s for tonight. Now, while that's going to be cool, it's not going to be as cold as the last couple of mornings. That's why we won't really see any heavy fog, some patchy fog. We're pushing Future Tracker all the way to Saturday late afternoon. Small chance for a shower closer to dusk. Rain likely Saturday night, but watch. The front moves through, and we should be able to salvage better part of Sunday with some dry weather. It's going to be a little cooler going into Monday and Tuesday for Election Day, but still unseasonably mild. Look for 67 degrees, sunshine out there, upper 40s tonight, some patchy fog, but not as widespread as the last couple of nights. Seven day forecast, partly sunny for Friday, 70. It's still going to be upper 50s by the end of football games for playoff football tomorrow night, and it will be nice and dry. All right, on Saturday, scattered clouds increasing in the afternoon and towards dusk. That's when we get that chance for a shower. Don't forget, we're turning the clocks back one hour Saturday night into Sunday morning and check those smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors as well. Scattered clouds for Sunday. We'll start off with that small rain chance. That's going to be very early in the morning, and then we'll have a really nice day. Notice mid to upper 60s for Monday. Beautiful for Election Day, low 60s. Next chance of rain won't come in until next Thursday, but still, that'll be now two weeks deep into November and temperatures well above average in the mid 60s.